Hi viewers, welcome to our YouTube channel Electrical Lectures. In this video of MATLAB series, I will be showing you how to use for loop in your MATLAB coding. The use of for loop in MATLAB coding is very common, so you need to have proper understanding of how to use a for loop. There are two parts of the for loop in MATLAB. The first part is written soon after the for keyword and that is basically the definition of the vector. It defines the length of the for loop, how many times the loop will run inside the MATLAB code. And then followed by this vector, you have to write any set of commands that you need to execute inside the for loop. And after completing the set of commands, you will write the keyword end. Now let us have some examples of how to write for loop. Let me comment these lines here and write an example for loop for i is equal to 1 to 5. This is the vector. I have defined the length of the vector and close this loop by using the word end and inside for and end you need to write the commands. Let's say I just want to display the values of i. So I will simply write i here. Now I will run this code by pressing F5. So you see on the left hand side in the command window, the values of i 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 are displayed. Let us try another for loop in which I want to display the values of a vector. Let's say we define a vector x is equal to minus 2 to 2 and we need to display the values of this vector. For this, I need to write for loop for i is equal to 1 to length of x. Now, inside this for loop, I will display the vector by writing x of i. So, I will index the vector x and the index here is defined by this variable i, which is from 1 to length of x. And you see the values minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2 are displayed here. Now we go for writing nested for loops. In MATLAB, you can easily write more than one for loops in nested form. Let's say we want to construct a matrix by using nested for loops. So you see this is the matrix. It is 5 cross 4 matrix because the length of x is 5. So the number of rows are 5 and length of y which is defining the number of columns it is 4. So it is 5 cross 4 matrix. In this piece of code MATLAB is displaying the matrix A in each iteration of the loop. If you do not want this just place a semicolon here. So it will stop MATLAB to display the matrix A in each iteration and you can simply display the matrix one time at the end just by writing A. So first of all let me clear the command window and then run this code again. So you see it has only displayed the matrix A once in the command window. Also you can place any conditions, conditional statements inside the for loop. Let's say I want to put a condition here that if x of i is greater than 0. So I am forcing MATLAB just to run this command if x of i is greater than 0. So if x of i is less than 0, MATLAB will place 0 on those locations. So now if I run this code, you see that the first, second and third row for which the value of x is minus 2, minus 1 and 0, they are fixed to 0 and only the computations are done for the 4th and 5th row for which x is 1 or 2. So hopefully this video helped you in writing for loops in MATLAB. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to our channel Electrical Lectures.